think I can speak for most of us when I say the newest update was disappointing, simply due to the fact that infants were not included. Infants were announced during the live stream in October 2022. Since then, the Sims community has been speculating what they're going to be like and openly talking about what they want from them. As you probably know, Infants will be a brand new life stage that's coming to the base game, so it's free. It's going to be a life stage between the original babies and toddlers. That means the objects, I mean babies, will still be a part of the game and won't be going away. Infants will be able to crawl and interact with other sims and items. So unlike the objects that we have currently. It's pretty exciting when the community is actually heard and acknowledged by the game developers, which is exactly what has happened with the babies. Simmers have been asking for non-object babies for years now, and finally, after all that time, they're coming. There are definitely things that I personally want for the infants update that may or may not happen. For example, I want the life stages to be adjusted so that they have more time to raise their children through a brand new life stage. I don't want to have a family only for the parent sims to die prematurely. I'm sure this will be a thing, because it would be silly if it were not, but we should be able to edit infants in create a sim. They should be like small toddlers in that way. I hope that everything in their cast categories make sense. Like I don't really want to see a crazy big hairstyle on infants since that wouldn't make sense. Like realistic hairstyles and clothing options would be perfect. Talking about baby clothing, it is honestly the cutest thing. So I'm hoping to see some stylish little infants. If they had different traits or anything, I'd be okay with that. If they didn't, that would be okay with me too. I think that would make sense if the infants and toddlers shared the same traits. It would give us a longer time to achieve toddler things essentially. And it just, I don't know, it just makes sense to me. Another way of going about it would be that they have no traits and that time period during the infant stage actually dictates what trait they'll receive as a toddler. I adore this idea, but sadly, I don't think it will happen. I would love to see toddlers and infants share skills between the two life stages. I think that would be the natural progression of things. I would love to see a wide range of baby, infant, and toddler type build items. Play pens, pack and plays, cribs, change tables, toys, strollers, baby carriers, baby gates, and more would make sense for this update. Am I asking for a lot of stuff? For sure. Do I think this free update will include all of that? Definitely not. I think a lot of these items like a stroller or baby carrier will be included in the new expansion pack. However, I do think that everything featured in the sneak peek will be included in the base game. I mean, hopefully, right? 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 I would love to see infant things like a play gym. These are a great way for infants to gain control over their neck, arms, and legs. So it could build their motor skills, and that's always good. It's also good for infants who are learning about shapes, colors, faces, and other things like that. That means that they could gain imagination, knowledge, or something like that. So just more skills. This play gym could be a skill maker, honestly. A jolly jumper type item, a walker, toys for teething, baby monitor, and nursery items would be fun to have. I guess I just want more options for these life stages for building skills and for decorating. We don't have a lot of cute baby things currently. There are a lot of things I don't want to see happen to these infants. I don't want infants to randomly spawn on community lots. I don't want strangers to be able to go up to random infants to interact with them. It's creepy. I hope that they're not so annoying to feed. Toddlers are just the worst to feed. So it would be annoying if they were similar to toddlers, but they couldn't do things like grabbing a plate off the table or grabbing a bowl of popcorn from the popcorn machine. Honestly, those are like the two ways my toddlers eat currently. And I would be very upset if infants couldn't do that, but they were annoying to feed. It's very obvious that the new expansion pack will focus on families. Maybe a generation style pack. It's been obvious since they released artwork for it featuring someone baby wearing, and then again when they released these teasers. Their wording for it, saying things are all relative, get familiar, you're expecting, as well as prominently featuring a tree with photo frames within it alludes to an updated family tree. I do have to say that if an updated family tree feature is behind a paywall, I am not going to be surprised. I'll be frustrated, just not surprised. 
I'm hoping that the updated family tree will feature cousins and other extended family members. Maybe you'll have like a larger view on the entire family tree. I would enjoy that. I just want to see this updated. It's been a while. Anywho, the new world is called San Sequoia. San Sequoia. San Sequoia. Sequoia. Anywho, the new world is called San Sequoia, and it seems like it's based on California or San Fran due to the fact that they have sequoia, sir, sir, sequoia, sequoia trees, and because of the, the sand part of the name. I apologize for mispronouncing those words. There's also going to be a giant bridge in the world, which would be similar to the Golden Gate Bridge. Expect a world with a prominent water area and a giant bridge. There's probably going to be a family called Michelson, since it seems like they're going to have a Michelson reunion. Maybe family reunions will be a new party type. I would like that. What do you think of that idea? We now know that one of the two new kits will be focused on underwear. It's actually called Symptiments. This pack isn't for me and it's kind of surprising. The Sims 4 is so heavily targeted towards children, so why do we need an underwear kit? When will they ever just wear their underwear? I guess you could use it as swimwear, but it would be a little weird if it's lacy or anything like that. I guess it's not my cup of tea because this is. I do have to admit the underwear is actually pretty cute. They're pretty trendy looking, which is a shocker because The Sims 4 clothing tends to be a few years too late. Despite not seeing a point to the pack, I can kind of see why people would want these items. They're cute, gosh darn it. In my opinion, they're not worth it, but they are cute. Originally, not much was known about the other kit. It's represented here by a toothpaste tube holding a toothbrush. That could mean many things like a clutter kit, which it ended up being. Surprise! It is a bathroom clutter kit. I'm assuming based on this artwork that the kit will feature wall decor, new bath towel wall items, tabletop based clutter items like an electric toothbrush, denters, hair dryers, and other things you might find in the bathroom. I need to get this out of the way. The wall decor items are not it. It's not nice looking. It's giving me cheesy daycare vibes. I don't see the point of having them. Maybe they could work in a bathroom dedicated to the household's children or at a child center community lot, but in the main washroom, it doesn't work for me. I do like most of the other clutter items, from this patterned toilet paper roll to the new bath mats, particularly the one for the toilet, to the tabletop clutter, like this plastic drawer. These items would be great to use and build. I like how clearly there are various versions of items, like this drawer is sort of open and this one is closed. The plunger is a great detail and is a prime example of how little items like that can truly make the bathroom or any room feel realistic if it's included. There's this sort of messy vibe with these items. Once again, that open drawer thing and these towels and how they're not perfectly hanging there. I like it. I dig it. I like this vibe quite a bit. It's a bit of chaos, but it's a whole lot of realism. Out of the two new kits, the bathroom clutter kit is more my speed since I do enjoy putting a ton of clutter in my builds. But what does this mean? Are they going to be doing a clutter kit for every single room? Should we expect a bedroom clutter kit, a backyard clutter kit, a laundry room clutter kit. When will these stop being a thing? Anywho, both of these kits will be available on January 19th if you're interested. I cannot wait until I can make a proper video about the infants update, so if you're interested in hearing my actual thoughts and feelings about the real deal when it's released, make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned. Thank you, I hope you're doing fantastic. Until next time, bye!